I'm looking at what must be the most immaculate pair of yellow ground jars and covers that are going to be sold part of the Oppenheimer collection in New York later this year. Simply, you could almost think these jars were painted yesterday. The quality is simply breathtaking. Look at these enamels, cartouches, just spectacular, as will be the Augustus Rex mark to the base. Yellow ground in China particularly was considered to be the rarest of all ground colors. Very delicately painted, the Chinaman butterflies, wonderfully gilded, wonderfully potted. Compared to this vase stands here, again truly in its magnificence. Another view of a young Chinaman offering a flower to a monk, or appears to be a monk, <clears throat> perhaps a lady. And what's very interesting, as you see here, is a Chinese man holding what appears to be flowers or possibly even lights, lights that uh, <clears throat> not really quite sure, to be honest with you, it requires further research on my part to find out what he's actually holding. Only the most minute of flaws can be seen, a black dot next to the leaf. But these are minuscule. In comparison, down below are another wonderful pair of vases, ruler vases, after the Chinese ruler shape. And it's wonderful to see a man on horseback and the horse is, is actually in motion. The other vase, a man is in the cart and the top show a child, man and woman. A very, very interesting model's blue ground. Up above, another wonderful pair of vases that would have been part of a five-piece garniture. In fact, even these jars, there would have been possibly another jar or three vases shaped like this pair of vases. The gilding particularly well painted. Perhaps I might get a closer look later, but I've just wandered in to have a brief look at this magnificent vases that you don't even see in museums, let alone coming up at auction. It'll be very interesting to see how much they sell for. Again, wonderful pale blue ground bottle vase. Not the typical decoration you see all the time.